Welcome back to The Last Laugh, a program dedicated to the celebration of comedy. Today we join together to discuss the life of an artist who captured our hearts, our minds, and our spirits. Sadie Shanahoff, Cake Face. I met Sadie when I was this many. Doing the birthday party circuit in pre-K, I was killing it back then, doing the old olive on the finger trick. And then Sadie came along and changed the whole game forever. They say you'll always remember where you were when you see history. I distinctly remember I was this many when I saw Sadie stick her face in that cake. Sadie smashed her first cake at Joshua Feeney's sixth birthday party at the Northridge Mall Discovery Zone, June 18th, 1997. I was putting my olives on, and then I saw her, and it kind of all happened in slow motion. She just put her face right in there, and I was like, that's comedy. She's going to be a star. Suddenly, she was getting invited to every birthday. She even got Regina Enrique's Halloween party. That's a big get. Every time she did it, it was, it was like the first time. They say she smashed cakes for the same reason someone climbed Everest. Because it was there. And Regina's mom told her not to. Of course, at some point, people stop laughing. As with so many comedy greats, Sadie was not without her off-stage vices. I can remember towards the end, Sadie was having one, maybe two Capri Suns before she'd go on. And that was Pacific Cooler. You know, the hard stuff. Sadie, Sadie, is that you, Sadie? Ah! Oh, oh my god, oh my god. As the crowd's attention waned, Sadie tried unsuccessfully to branch out. She was so messed up, she started smashing cupcakes like an amateur. She was getting kicked out of parties, kicked out of bars. Okay, well that last one was because she was this many, but still. I saw her play Tina's birthday, totally loaded on Capri. She tried to smash her face into a cookie. Cookies don't smash. They just don't smash. It was pretty sad to watch. They say that those that shine the brightest burn out the soonest. She smashed her last cake at Tiffany's birthday in 97. That was the last time I saw her. Sadie's family moved to Cleveland shortly after, but the comedy world will always remember her bravery, her talent, and her capacity to wash frosting out of her eyeballs. Join us next week when we discuss the Funyun Finger Twins. Where are they now?